Oh yeah. Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel today. So, I recently saw Manny, M-U-A, uh -huh. or should I say, uh -huh. <laughs> Is that how you do it? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> Corona. Corona back! I basically, or recently, saw Manny post this video and it was basically about, you know, keeping this little mask on, how you could preserve your makeup even after wearing this mask all day, off, on, on, off. Oh, oh, okay. I was very interested to see how I could put this on, take it off, and be as flawless as, as possible. If you guys wanna watch how, you know, I follow Manny MUA steps in terms of achieving this perfect base that doesn't come off with this thing, stay tuned. Also, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ooh. Let's go ahead and get started. I have nothing on my skin right now, obviously. I'll Okay. We have um, some eye cream, but that's it. Cause I wanted to do just some methods of how I'm gonna keep my makeup on longer throughout the day, and therefore longer for you guys when wearing these masks. He has some eye cream on right now, so I'm gonna go in with the uh, Bellaro Brightening Eye Cream. It's banana extract. This is also from my Dollar Store review, so if you guys wanna you know see that, definitely check that out above. But some of this. Oh, okay. Cause we wanna be as Manny esque as possible, so would Manny MUA put this on? I don't think so. But would I? Yes. Um, ignore this hair, guys. You know, you know. Hopefully I'll have a trimmer by tomorrow. All right, guys, so as I'm editing this, um, this was the haircut that I ended up getting, so yeah. <laughs> If you guys want to see a video of me cutting my hair, definitely let me know down below. I am ready. Ready. I am ready. I'm ready. You practice my Manny laughs. <laughs> okay. Did I get that down packed? No. Is that like Alex Warren trying to be David Dobrik? Yes. Oh, let me take this off. Can't breathe. I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my skin. I'm actually gonna be using the method, you guys, that we used in that TikTok video, the one to keep our makeup on longer. So I'm gonna be taking this Marc Jacobs Youth Quake Hydra Full Extreme Moisturizer. Because I'm gonna be using products and like setting our face and doing things for longevity, I'm gonna be using a nice moisturizer that's really, really hydrating as a base so that my face doesn't like crack and crumble, you know? I don't want my face to crack and crumble. I'm gonna go with the Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly Moisturizer. For me, I love this stuff. It is very jelly, as you could see. Very jelly. I'm gonna take that and press that on my face. Let that sit and be right back. And we're gonna go ahead and actually set that barrier with a translucent powder. Very lightly, very, very lightly. Next, we're gonna go on with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. You know, this is like the TikTok hack that's going around right now that was invented by, I believe, Jordan Liberty. So if you guys wanna check out that video, that'll definitely be linked down below as well as Manny's video. So Manny said to lightly, very lightly, dust our face with this. So that's what we're gonna do. Take a regular fluffy brush. Lightly. Now we're gonna go in with a setting spray to lock in this moisturizer and kind of bring more lightness to it. You heard the man, the man with the master up <laughs> plan. He said to go in with the setting spray to lock everything down. I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Spray or Setting Mist. <sighs> this smells so good. But now we're going with our primer and you guys for me what I would suggest using primer wise is going to be something that's really sticky Okay, so he recommends using something that's going to be sticky <laughs> So um, I'm gonna go with one of my favorite. This is the Laura Mercier hydrating primer. I love this It's not the stickiest primer, but honestly guys like it's definitely one of the best especially for my dry cracked skin, okay, okay Kind of feeling like I'm becoming BFFs with Manny in my head. Becoming BFFs with Manny in my head. I don't know. 
So now that we've primed, we're gonna go into the foundation. And foundation that I would suggest when doing something like this, I know a lot of you guys will wanna just go in with like more natural foundation and more like sheer coverage and just yes. kind of like sheer, like, like airy kind of vibes. That's not gonna be the best for longevity when it comes to a mask, okay. you know? Okay, so basically, Manny is gonna use the Locket foundation. I don't have that foundation. I'm gonna go with the Fenty Pro Filter foundation. This thing is amazing. I've worked out with this thing. I've slept with this thing. I've showered with this thing. This thing. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're gonna go in with that. I'm just gonna go in with a pump so far, and I'm really gonna concentrate that onto my cheeks. Really, really, really focusing and packing it on the nose to make sure it's really set in place. All right, and as you guys can see here, foundation is on. What's next? Any concealer you guys that you like is gonna be fine because really the concealer is gonna be staying up here mostly. It's not gonna be making the biggest difference. All right guys, so you heard it. Next step is going to be concealer. I'm gonna take the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Concealer. Now I'm gonna just use that under my eyes, down the nose, and you know, things like that. So, I'm gonna go and just blend that bad bitch out. Okay, concealer done. What next? So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set our face. Well, we can set it however way you want. You guys wanna set it heavily, you can. Usually you guys, the more powder that our face has, the more it's gonna soak into our skin and the more longevity it's gonna have when it comes to our face and our base. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a powder. This one is the Nikia Joy one. And I really like it. It's really, really nice. I finally came in the mail. I'm gonna go ahead and use our wet sponge. I feel like it just helps melt in the powder a little bit better. Okay, so I don't have a Nikki Joy Nikki G <laughs> setting powder. So I'm gonna go with, again, La Chaire Messier, you know, one of my favorites. I'm gonna take the wet sponge that we used before. Ooh. I'm gonna go in and set around this perimeter. So I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't like a baker, you know, America's Next Great Baker, JK, um, until I noticed that baking kind of gives you a different look to your makeup and I like that. Perfect, so now that our bake is on, Manny basically suggests leaving it on for a little bit longer, let it do its thing, go eat, go do your brows. Go do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna do a little bit of brow work and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I filled in my brows a little bit. Let's see what the next step is that we should follow to keep our mask looking fresh. Five minutes has passed, I'm just gonna lightly dust off that layer. So now, what we can do is we can go ahead and apply blush, bronzer, highlighter, whatever we want to apply. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one more spritz of all-nighter between those layers. So I'm going to do this. A very light layer, guys. You don't need a lot. Just a little bit of something just to kind of bring some lightness back to the skin. I'm going to go ahead and apply bronzer, blush, and highlighter off camera, and I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm going to go with my favorite LA bronzers. Yes, this is a dollar. I'm also going to go in with the blush and toast as well. If you guys want to, you know, see how I use these products or review them, definitely check out my Dollar Tree uh, tutorial. Why does my eye always feel irritated? My eye? Like, is this even humane? I'm gonna carefully take the mirror side and use that. Ooh, she still works. Look at that glow. If that doesn't wake you up in the morning, I don't know what does. Basically want all three of these areas to look like a glazed donut, so just do that. All over. And yet again, we'll spray this down. Our skin is looking shapopping right now, like. Okay, so I have some bronzer, blush, and highlighter on the skin right now. So when our face is wet, I'm gonna do this last step. One more thing, just on the areas that's gonna be specifically touching the mask. So what I'll do is I'll get a little bit more of that loose powder and a sponge, a very little amount, like, and I'll go ahead and go over that one more time, very lightly, on the areas that will specifically be touching the mask. So now I'm actually gonna go ahead and move on to the lips. So what I'm gonna do now, you guys, I'm gonna do a little bit of a method that I like to do when I'm doing longevity on the lips, and I think this will really, really, really work nicely for when you're wearing a mask. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a lip balm, any lip balm 
works fine. Next, we're gonna be moving on to the lips. I can literally, like, today I feel like I can't find sh like nothing at all, like at all. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of oil, and you can use that as a lip balm, right? Yeah, I think so. Take a little bit, like that. All right, and this is basically gonna help with preventing dryness from this mask being on our face, our lips crusting off, just desert. Desert. Set the lip balm. Set the lip balm. Okay, so he also suggests setting your lips if you're gonna wear like a matte lipstick. I'm not, so I'm gonna leave that alone. I had enough of the Le Mercier for one day. Are we, are we done? Are we done? A am I done? I don't know. Okay guys, so all the steps that Manny has recommended have been followed. Everything is up to standard. I hope. The moment of truth. Is it gonna look the same or not? Hello, hello. I'm loving this. I am loving this. Yeah, everything, everything is, everything is glued on. Like, it is not going anywhere at all. Thank you, thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I really do appreciate that. I had some fun hanging out with you guys and hanging out with, you know, my new uh, BFF, Manny MUA. If you did enjoy this content, please let me know down below. Also, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys. Bye.